I had a career of dance in New York and Canada and California. I was very blessed and I got to go a lot of places with my dance. And at a fairly young age, I got struck down by stage four cancer. As a dancer before, my purpose was to be as versatile as I could in order to be a vessel for someone else's vision. It wasn't about um, who I was personally or any ethnicity or culture. It was like pure movement. What I learned through cancer was to be able to be in reciprocity, be in the circle where I could receive as well as give, and I wanted to give something back, to give something to life. I had been doing a lot of teaching on different reservations and there were young people that were coming up. They were probably just around their young teens, but they were training themselves and it felt like they came down from the sky and they landed just as I was recovering. And I was describing my dreams to them and they were animating those dreams. So I might bring in a theme or, or a vision and they'd come in with their perspectives like, oh, well, you know, my nation, we do it like this, or this is our word for it, or, you know, they, they had a lot to bring in culturally as part of the creative process and it made them feel like they could finally be full and be whole and be all of themselves. That's carried on listening and finding what is it that collectively we're going to make that we can only do together here now. You know, with the reservations and like siloing people off borders and immigration and all of that, it's separated indigenous peoples. I feel like when I bring people together, they might not have met a Maori person or they might not have met a person of the woodlands or of the desert, but they all come together. We all come together and we're, we're sharing stories, um, sometimes of, of pain, sometimes of suffering, sometimes of resilience. That's the power and the beauty of what we have is that the diversity, tribal diversity, different bodies, different language being spoken that give us a way as humans to experience diversity and harmony and respect and this mosaic of human experience. <laughs>